it. So there are many things in the Bible that we really need to focus on. And it's not because what I have realized error has been preached. Error, listen to this. Whatever that is being preached, how can I say it's a leakage of power and the spirit? Whatever you hear with your ear, there is a spirit that is begging what is being preached. When we preach the gospel, the Holy Spirit is about the gospel. If you go to those who are in occultic spirits, whatever they are being taught, there is a spirit supplying what they hear. So, what about an error of preaching in the church? Error of preaching in the church will cause the church to collapse. This is the reason why the Bible says, My people, they perish for the lack of knowledge, for the twisted knowledge. My people are perishing of twisted knowledge. So, preaching the word of God, listen to this, lacking, it does not mean that it's not completely dead. It is dead. But it is lacking. It's a book that has not been fully opened. And people, they begin to follow what they feel. They begin to follow what they feel like suit them. It's when they open the books, they will preach whatever they like. What they do not like, they will put it in the wayside. When the Bible says in the book of Hosea, it continues to say, Because you, the priest, you have left the law, you have left the knowledge, you are not renewing the knowledge. That's why my people are perishing. People perish because of twisted knowledge in the church. Misinterpretation of scriptures is a problem in the church. It gets people into trouble. It gets people to drop down. There were many men of God we know they were rising up. But because of the demonstration of power, they are nowhere. They're collapsing. And it's not because God left them. They went beyond the scriptures. I repeat, they went beyond the word of God. Don't ever try to demonstrate something that is above the word of God. Let your demonstration save humanity. Don't allow your demonstration to be questioned by those who need to be saved by you. Because they will never believe. They will think it's a magic. Many miracles that Jesus Christ performed. Even with what apostles performed. It caused them to believe God. Instead of running away from God, they believe God. Even Nicodemus, Nicodemus, the leader of the Pharisees, the ones who were against Jesus, when they saw miracles be performed, they believed. A Pharisee Nicodemus believed, but he were, he were never wanted to make it public. But he was convinced. The Bible says he went to Jesus Christ in the evening and said, Hey, Rabbi, we know you are a great preacher because the things that you are performing, no man has ever done it. Amen. Let's not chase away people of God by some demonstration that cannot be understood. Trying to go above the word of God. Let the word of God be the standard.
standard of what you do. Because there are many spirits in the world which can support what you are doing. Once you believe, the spirits support you. Once you believe, spirit supports you. Even though who are doing sangoma things, they are supported by spirits because they believe. There is an error in the church. And that error is caused by leaders. They don't want to, 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 to understand the word of God. Some they are too powerful. But that they want to go above the scriptures. God gave us the scripture as a measure, as a weight. Everything must be weighted here. Let's not bring confusion into the body of Christ. Let's not try to perform things that have never been performed. That causes error. Going out for faith. Going out for faith. 